In a previous video, I discussed how uh, financial institutions manage interest rate risk by looking at income gap analysis. Now, the problem with income gap analysis is it only looks at the impact interest rate changes have on income. And we know that changing rates also impact the market value of balance sheet items, and that's going to impact net worth of the financial institution. So another thing we should look at is referred to as duration gap analysis. Now, duration allows us to approximate the price change for fixed in income securities when interest rates change. Now, if you haven't seen the video I created on duration, I'll post a link to it so you can check that out. Um, but right now, I'm just going to discuss how we use duration. If you need to know how to calculate dur duration, um, please check out that video. Now, what does duration gap analysis do? It measures the sensitivity of a bank's current year net worth to changes in interest rates. And again, we know that you know, for fixed income securities, as interest rates change, so does the value of the security. We know when interest rates go up, bond prices go down, and vice versa. So it requires determining the duration for assets and liabilities, um, items whose market value will change as interest rates change. And again, um, you can check out the previous video to see how you actually calculate duration. But what we're going to do here is we're going to use the following formulas. The percentage change in value is going to be equal to minus the duration times the change in interest rates divided by 1 plus the interest rate. Or if you want to know the change in value, it's the same part of the formula here, okay, times the original value. And that makes sense, right? If, if uh, we calculate that the percentage change in value is 2% and you happen to have 100 million, then you just multiply the 2% times 100 million and you know that the change in value is 2 million. All right, let's look at an example. Suppose uh, that duration is 2.7 and rates change from 10% to 11%. Uh, and we're looking at the duration of assets here. So the percentage change in asset value is going to be minus 2.7, which is minus duration, times the change in the interest rate, which is 1%, divided by 1 plus the interest rate. We're going to use the original interest rate of 10%. And so we get minus 2.5%. Likewise, we can do the same thing for the duration of liabilities. And we'll assume that uh, the duration here is 1.03. So the percentage change in liability value is minus 1.03, okay, minus the duration times the change in interest rates, 1% divided by 1 plus the interest rate, so we get minus 0.9%. So the change in net, the percentage change in net worth is going to be equal to the percentage change in assets minus the percentage change in liabilities, so we get minus 2.5%, that was the change in uh, percentage change in assets that we calculated, minus a negative 0.9 percent, which is the percentage change in liability, so we get minus 1.6 percent. Okay, so for a rate change from 10 percent to 11 percent, if the institution has assets of 100 million, the net worth will fall by 1.6 million. Alright, let's look at it um, Here's another formula for doing the calculation that sort of puts it all in one formula. The duration gap is defined to be the duration of assets minus liabilities, okay, dollar value of liabilities over dollar value of assets times the duration of liabilities, okay, and then if we want the percentage change in net worth, we have minus the duration gap, which we calculated here, times the uh, change in interest rates divided by 1 plus the interest rate. Okay, so if we plug those numbers in, we had 
2.7 as the duration of assets. Okay, um, from the previous slide, liabilities are 95 million, assets are 100 million. Okay, duration for liabilities was 1.03. So if we do the formula, we get 1.72 is the duration gap. And then we plug into this formula here, which says it minus the duration gap times the change in interest rates over 1 plus the interest rate. So we get minus 1.72 um, times 0.01 divided by 1 plus 0 0.10. Or we get, again, uh, minus 0 0.016 or minus 1.6% as our um, percentage change in net worth, okay, which is the same thing we got before. And if we multiply that by the 100 million, we know that net worth decreases by 1.6 million. So this is another formula you can use, and this is going to allow us, along with the income gap analysis, to look at the change in the market value of assets and the income gap part will help us to understand the change in the income from the gap in uh, rate-sensitive assets and rate-sensitive liabilities.